What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. So if you don't already know, my name is Joe. You're watching Only 4 Trucks. And yeah, you'll find everything about trucks here on the channel. Um, this is a bit of a catch up video. Hey, things have kind of been a bit busy. Um, like I said, some of you are familiar, some are not. So a couple weeks ago, I flew out to Reno. My father and I drove home in his cab over Mac. If you guys haven't watched that video, definitely go check it out because that whole little series was great. And then last week, we had gone to McCungie here in Pennsylvania, and that was another great truck show. And if you haven't caught that one, you know, go watch that. That was a really good time as well. But now we're back, and it's time to get to work. And there's a lot to do here at work and a lot to explain to you guys. So in the process, I'll show you guys what we got going on with the low bed here. As you can see, it is no longer yellow. So we did get this thing primed, um, not entirely or completely because we didn't get the very centers, but overall the trailer itself is primed, the goosenecks primed, and the third axle is not. So there's been a lot going on, a little bit of a spider web there, a lot going on and a lot has changed, a lot of things are happening, and yeah, I don't even know where to begin. but. Let's try to get caught up here. So, as you guys saw at McCungie, or you may not have saw, we have some trucks for sale. So both of the Fords, the red LT9000, and the blue LTL9000, and the six wheel Mack dump truck, those three are for sale. And the reason being is, there's only one driver here, which is me. So I can't drive three trucks, nor do we need three trucks. So the R model that we picked up and are currently getting it ready for paint, this can run a flatbed, low bed, dump trailer it can do whatever we need so that'll you know supply the the demand that that we may have for a truck so the other two have been doing a lot of sitting lately and we don't really have the money to just let things sit around and we don't we're not collectors so you know we need we need work stuff so unfortunately these are tools and we don't need three of the same tool at the moment especially not of that you know caliber it's not like we're talking drills here we're talking you know twenty thirty thousand dollar trucks so those will be for sale and in the next video, I will be explaining the trucks and the details about them and the prices and all that good stuff. And hopefully somebody watching knows somebody that's interested and hopefully we can get these things sold because they need to go. Um, in other news, there will be a bit of a change on the channel. Um, for immediate, I am gonna be getting the low bed ready, finishing up this truck, and I'm probably gonna bring you guys along for some other in-between jobs because I had some comments about dirt work and excavation and other things we do so i'll probably be bringing that to the channel as well just to kind of give you guys something to check out and watch while uh, i'm getting into things but soon enough there's going to be a change and i don't quite know what direction um you know my current boss and i have talked and we need to have more talks but i may be going my own route i may be doing my own thing um i might be sticking it out here i might do something with somebody else not a million percent sure yet so I can't really give you too much more than that, but regardless, I've been trucking, you know, as long as I could since I was, you know, 18, so that's not gonna stop. I'm gonna have plenty of trucking stuff and I'm gonna keep on trucking and whatever it may be. But yeah, my dad has a couple of trucks. We gotta work on those and I wouldn't mind putting one of them on the road. There's a ton of truck shows to get to, which that's another topic. I'm gonna be getting together all the next, you know, couple months of truck shows and I'm gonna give it all to you guys on the channel and Facebook and Instagram and all that good stuff to let you guys know where I'll be, when I'll be there, what we got going on. So hopefully if anyone's local or anyone can make it, I get to meet you guys there. So that'd be cool. Um, I am working on getting some shirts on the way of the Listen to the Music design. It's been a real hassle with the colors and stuff, excuse me, but we're trying. So hopefully I can get some shirts out soon, finally. And I have a couple other designs I'm looking to make, so I'm really excited for that. But I think I think that's about everything that I could think of. So today we're gonna be taking everything out of that blue trailer because a friend of ours bought it. So we're gonna unload that thing and then get it out of here and hopefully move the low bed around and start painting it and plenty to do. So like I said, this, this video is gonna kinda get us all back on track and then we're just gonna keep this stuff going and I'm really excited for it. Another thing I wanted to address was the comments on the video where I backed into the tight spot with the cop in New York. Some of you that had commented might not see this because that may be the only video you watched, but the, the love and the kind words and the support and the things you guys have said on that channel, somebody's it's just 
crazy. I don't even know how to say it. So thank you guys so much for that support. Like I love reading what you guys have to say and it's, it's awesome to see. And I, I it, it's crazy to me because I've done so many things like that scenario and unfortunately they weren't recorded. So I'm sure in the next bit of time, I'll be able to give you guys plenty more videos just like that because that was a little extra, a little tight, but at the same time, it's just another day in the office. Like I do stuff like that all the time. So really excited to bring you more of that. But just the steady growth and love and support from you guys is mind blowing. Like I never thought I'd have 12,000 subscribers. I never thought I'd have as many views as you guys are watching. I never, never expected any of this. Like it happened so fast and it's just so great. So just big thanks to you guys. I, I don't even know what else to say other than just like, I really appreciate it and keep on watching. And I hope that I can continue to deliver you guys the best trucking content you're gonna find. So <coughs> I'm gonna do my best. So thank you guys for watching. Let's get into some action here and actually watch something better than just me talking. See you soon.
All right, guys, well, as you saw, those wheels are locked up. Uh, the front axle on the driver's side was rolling, but on the passenger side, the front axle was locked. So I put air to it. It rolled when it came here, maybe eight months ago, a year ago, whatever it's been, but it's sat here ever since. So I'm just gonna leave air to it, let it sit there for a little bit. I chalk the wheels and then I'll whack the drums with a hammer a couple times, see if I can't break the shoes free, because it should roll, right? But here's my goal. So we have a bunch of stuff in the back of that truck, which is storage, as you can see there. So there's all kind of stuff in there. We need to get that stuff out and put it over in another area for storage. So my thinking is the low bed is going to sit here for another little while longer. So I'm going to try to move the low bed as easy as possible. And everything that's in that blue trailer will go back here in storage. But like I said, moving the low bed, my game plan was to try to move the low bed over to where the blue trailer was. Reason being is we don't really use this area much but we do use the area along this side. So if I can move the low bed over, we still have access. Low bed could sit here, get worked on, whatever. The blue trailer's leaving. So it all just works. And it's a rainy day, there ain't much going on. So it helps to get this stuff done. So that's the goal. Try to get this trailer moved. Um, those four ways we're using to pick stuff up. Although I tried to get away earlier with the two short chains. It wasn't happening, the strap was really short. Didn't know it. But anyway, the four ways, one's good for 18,000, I think it said, 16,000. The other one's good for nine. So, trying to do the math on what this low bed weighs stripped. I think if we aim the four ways to the back, because it's less weight up front, I think them four ways will pick the trailer in one shot. Then I'll use the skid steer to kind of slide the, the blocks over, and we can just put the trailer over. That's my thinking. You know, we, we play it safe, I'm not gonna be under it or anything like that. The four ways break or can't handle it, and so be it, sorry. But I think I might try that. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking. So, I'm gonna go ahead and See what I can do here, and you guys will see it.
Well, it has been a day. Uh, just about through with it. This trailer is empty and I'm all cleaned up. I made a few passes in the skid steer just to blow the lot around, get it a little bit nicer to, to roll on, you know. But I'll take you guys back and show you my little uh, storage area here. Uh, it's nothing special, it's just a temporary deal. So I just threw everything in there quick just to get it done. So everything out of the trailer is in there. And like I said, I'm all just, you know, back dragged it. And now it's time to park the trailer and then unhook the truck and park the two trucks and I'll grade the rest of the yard just to make it look decent. Uh, we got a lot of rain coming, so whatever. But uh, yeah, um, plenty to come. I heard I might be hauling some precast pipe this coming week, so that, that'll be new. And yeah, I'm trying to think of anything else to fill you guys in on, but I think I covered it all earlier. So I'm gonna back this truck up and then park the other two. And then maybe we'll talk again. So I got that thing in there fairly straight with that side and then this side it's hard to judge because you got the other trailer there but what I got will work and I don't think I told you guys earlier but after just letting it run for a little bit and push air back air the wheels freed up themselves so I don't know if maybe just took a little while to get some air back air or the you know something wants to take its time but either way it freed up that's all that matters so I'm gonna drop this thing and uh, finish clean up the yard we'll move the Mac this red Ford moved and then go from there. much in here for you to see all I do is turn the key so see what the exhaust looks like when she fires Oh, I can't wait to see this thing finished. It's time's coming. I've been a little busy and there's some stuff going on, but I want to cover up that intake for the rain that's coming. Finish blading off this yard and I'll be going home. So, um, what's to come in the next video from this one? I plan on putting together the video of how I got started trucking and a lot of my early on stuff. I have a ton of pictures. I think a couple videos. But I have a lot of great pictures and stories for you guys. So I'm going to put that all together. Explain to you how I got where I am today. And why I love trucking in the first place. And uh, hopefully I have some trucking after that. And again, I'm also going to get all the truck shows together. And put them in uh, probably that same video. Or another. But either way, I'll give you guys all kind of updates on what video, uh, what videos. What truck shows I'm going to be going to in the near future. Hoping to go to some pools as well. So we'll get into that. Yeah, there's plenty more to come, guys. Thank you for all the support. The channel's only going to get better and better. So thanks for watching. See you next time.
Hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, brother, over here.